Hi, Larry Gaines, Power Cycle Trading. Well, in this crazy market environment, you want to be able to make really good decisions, but you need to make them quickly because the markets move and change so fast. So one of the best ways to do this uh, and that I've been using for quite a, quite a long time now is to use and incorporate Fibonacci within your trading. So I use it for support, resistance, price target analysis to you know help me set targets for my trading, um, you know, targets for take profit or where to stop out. So here are a couple examples just to go over uh, based on uh, today's market action. So here's the S&P uh, 500, the SPY ETF. Now, as you can see, uh, looking at these various Fibonacci levels, uh, we came up to what we call the 50% retracement level here. And this was yesterday. We could not make it through. And then what happened today? No push through. So that tells you an area of resistance to be watching 194.30. So that was a major area yesterday. So you need to be cautious, careful there. Starts to roll over. Today it breaks at 382, 191.17. So based on this, I'm looking for a move back down to 187 and then potentially down to that prior low. Now you can also then you know map these out on a shorter time frame. And here's a 30-minute time frame. You can see this is my opening range breakout indicator. And you can see how that momentum, once it broke that opening range at about 11 o'clock uh, central, uh, it also broke, was breaking below that 382 retracement and got a pretty good sell-off uh, into the rest of the day. So that's the S&P or SPY. Now here's the XLE and it's one of the uh, sectors uh, that make up the SPY or the S&P 500. And again, you can see that it ran into its um, 382 retracement and that's about all it could uh, muster as far as any additional upside movement. So not a very good retracement from this prior low. When you can't even make it above the 382, that tells you the market's in trouble. And the XLE looks like an ex excellent uh, uh, sector to be short in, and it's right on the 236. So once this breaks, now this is not a very su very strong support level for Fibonacci, so we should see a continuation move back down to the prior lows there. Uh, you can also see that you know it started to break down uh, towards the last 30 minutes uh, and just could not get any momentum to the upside. So that's the XLE. And then let's look at the financial sector, the XLF. And you can see it's even weaker than the XLE. It could not even get from the swing from this prior uh, high back here in uh, uh, December uh, to the low that it made here uh, in, on January 20th. Uh, this, this market is so, so weak that it could not even get above the 236. So you saw the XLE at least got to the 382. And the SPY got to the 50, but the XLF financials could not even muster enough strength through the 236. And it's definitely, you know, on its way down towards those lows. So all in all, the market does not look good when you take these two major sectors within the S&P. And then we'll just look at Tesla. This is one that I thought had some potential to break out yesterday, but it too could not muster through that 236, close on its lows. And so to look for the next lows, we can also use Fibonacci for that analysis as well. So with, with uh, Tesla rolling back over today, it came back down to its prior low. So the next target price for Tesla will be down to the 1272 extension, which comes in about 178, uh, and then below that 172. So I hope this helps. Uh, now, if you'd like to learn more about uh, Fibonacci, uh, you know, join me at PowerCycleTrading.com. And, uh, you know, I'll be teaching a lot more uh, on this uh, very powerful uh, analysis uh, over the next few days. So I'm going to be doing a, a live interactive Fibonacci review course or workshop. It'll be this Saturday, February the 6th at 11 a.m. So if you'd like to join me, uh, sign up. Use this link, powercycletrading.com forward slash Fib1. Powercycletrading.com forward slash Fib1. It's only $97. Uh, we're going to do a great workshop review, and you'll also get as a bonus my Trader's Guide to Technical Analysis. Hope to see you Saturday. Good luck trading.